Okay, I think that last video was getting a little on the long side. I wanted to squeeze in one more thing, but I figured, eh, just stop it. So I want we talked percentages and we talked proportions, but this is a little bit more percentage stuff. When we talk about a percent increase or decrease, okay, it's an increase or decrease of something you started with, right? Some base that we started with. And yeah, we always have to bear in mind what we're increasing or decreasing from, okay? So, you know, tax is a good example. Sales tax is a good example of an increase, you know. Okay, so let's say, uh, you know, an item cost uh, before tax, just keep the numbers real easy, $100, okay? And the sales tax, is 10%, okay? That's my cost, that's the cost, you know, before taxes. What's my final price? Okay, well, it's gonna be the cost plus the tax, right? Before tax plus the tax itself. So how do we figure out the tax itself? Well, we said it's 10%, but percentage always has to be percent of something. Percent of what? Percent of the people in the world? Percent of uh, uh, cigarette smokers? Percent of what? People under the age of three? I mean, what are we talking about? Percent of the cost, right? Tax is 10% of the cost. Of means times. So 10% of the $100 cost and 10% of $100 is $10, right? So the tax is $10. So my final price is the hundred dollars plus the ten dollars, so one ten. Okay. So one way to handle these things, this was an increase, of course, a decrease would be very similar, but we would subtract. One way to do this is kind of this two-step process: figure out the amount of the increase and then add it to the cost. Another way to do it would be kind of more of a direct approach, saying, "Okay." Hmm, well, the cost of something is 100% of that something, right? The cost, I mean, this is kind of silly to say this, but the cost is 100% of the cost, right? I mean, 100%, if you just look at that number, 100%, that's a good old one, right? 100% means one. So cost equals one times cost, that makes sense, one times something. Well, the cost doesn't, okay, so that's fine. Well, the sell price though, has got this extra 10% in there. So the sell price is gonna be this cost, which is 100% of itself plus 10% more. So it's gonna be 110% of the cost. If I could write, it would help. So my sell price is 110% of the cost. So if I wanted to do it in one swoop, I would just say, okay, sell price equals 110% of that $100 cost I had. 110%. Well, how do you write 110% as a decimal? It's 1.1 times my $100. And 1.1 times $100 is $110. So any kind of cost increase would be similar, you know. Hey, we're having a you know 30% increase in our price because of you know the tariffs uh, from over over since the Suez Canal just blocked. Here's when I'm recording that. Remember when the Suez Canal got blocked? They just got it unstuck like today, the day I'm making this recording. So let's say we're going to have a 30% increase uh, on goods because of that. Well, if something used to cost $58, but now it's gonna be 30% more. The amount of just the increase, just the increase is that $58, but now it's gonna be 30% of that. Okay. 58.
$17.40. That's just the increase. Of course, now, if you want to figure out the new price, I got to take that original 58 and I have to add the 1740 to it. And I've got dollars and cents going here, right? And I don't have cents on my 58, but you get the gist. $75.40 will be my new price. Okay, I did that in a two-step process. I figured out just the increase and then I added it to my original. I could have done it in one swoop if I just took the $58, said, hey, there's a 30% increase, so I'm gonna multiply it by 130%, okay? Which would be 1.3, 58 times 1.3, 75.4. Okay, discounts are the same thing. You know, we're having a sale. Woohoo! 25% off, right? 25% off sale. All right. The regular, the regular price is $67.49, right? What's the new price going to be? Well, I'm going to take off 25%. So I can do it in a two-step process. I could find the discount amount. Well, the discount's going to be that 67.49, 25% of it. That's going to be the amount of the discount. So 67. Get out of here. Clear. 67.49 times 25% is 0.25. Okay, now we're talking dollars and cents here, so I gotta I gotta round it off. So the discount's gonna be sixteen dollars and eighty-seven cents. Okay, that's the discount. Now we're talking about a reduction. So my new price is my original sixty-seven forty-nine, but now I'm subtracting away something. Sixteen point eighty-seven. So sixty-seven point forty-nine minus. 16.87, $50.62, okay, 25%. Again, in one swoop, I could just take that original 67.49, okay, if I multiplied it by 100%, that's just itself. Remember, we were going larger than 100% for the increase, well, now we're going to go less than 100% for the decrease. Well, it's 25% off of that 100%, so it's going to be 75%. So if I do that, I can get this done in one step. 67.49 times 0 0.75, 75, $50 and round it off 62 cents. Okay, watch out for the language these stores use, you know. A 25% off sale means that everything is 75% of what it used to be. But if they just say it's a 25% sale without the word off in there, it might very well mean that, you know, if the original item was 67.49 now, I'm only going to multiply I'm going to multiply by 25%. Okay, so in other words, it's a 75% sale, a, excuse me, a 75% off, 25% sale. Okay, watch, watch the language because that's what, to me, that's what this means. 25% sale means, you know, if it used to cost $100, now it's only going to cost $25. Okay, that's a 25% sale in my mind. Okay, now they might mean, oh, hold on there, buddy, no. I meant 25% off. So if it used to be $100, now it's 75. You're not getting it for 25 bucks. So watch the language because it, it's really important, of course, whether or not it's 25% off or if it's 25% of what it used to be. That's a big difference. Okay, so increases and decreases of, of percentages. Maybe I could have squeezed that in that last video, but yeah, whatever, it's done. So. We're gonna move on in the next video and do a little something different, but uh, we'll pick up there then.